Hello everybody, welcome back to Stellaris. Where you laugh, last left us. What needs upgrading? Oh, just upgrade all the defense plasmons, I don't care. Um, yes, we, we had a war, we took all this and a couple of planets, including the home world of Dis Reef Traders, and then they immediately uh, got into an alliance with, well, they became an associate of uh, the Esgar Gothel Alliance. Um, the Skeksis, however, I think are doing all right with us. They quite like us. The Kundans, I wouldn't mind being. Um, I wouldn't mind inviting them to the Federation, but they're they're fighting the the Kundan Dian Galactic War. So they're they're dealing with the the free traders as as we speak. They're doing quite well. Hopefully. Um, at some point they'll destroy all that will well basically the next war I want to take like all of this and this system down here because this system this system's a nice system it's got lots and lots of minerals and stuff actually how okay I think we've got they've they've been sensible enough to, to uh, put all their minerals and stuff down um, we might want to get payer in upgraded as a station so yeah let's upgrade that to a starport it's all good a non-aggressive action by the zikmox and the d3 traders oh well you're all the way over there so i i don't expect it of you that makes sense what is in here why do you not want this world what's down here i want to know okay so let's have a look at um Oglion, or Oglion? No, it's not Oglion that I wanted to do. Gozum, Gozum. This one. Yes. Okay, so we're doing. Look at all the defense platforms I've gone. Nope. Fucking nope. 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 Um. What do we want for here? Fire rate ten percent. Jump cooldown. Uh, shield hit points that one for this one I think uh, yes yeah, so I'm just upgrading a whole bunch of shit inactive buildings yes because it's being used okay fine right so oh we've got like some minerals and stuff how much oh we've got so, so much fucking fleet, fleet capacity um this border is now pretty much secure. It's just this bit and this bit. So I've got... Where is... I've got... So I've got this fleet over here. The border patrol over here, which we can upgrade. I mean, how much do they need? I think that's just for one destroyer. Well, let's... let's upgrade that let's see what that's doing oh no that's enough for a battleship as well in fact i think we should possibly look at the ship designer and then look at the what we've got so hmm we've got oh let's let's advance the rail guns a bit oh how are we doing here we're doing all right um and we've got advanced combat picket tactics advanced close range and attempt to intercept the enemy Mm. No, I kind of want it to go dealer's point blank range. I kind of like the point blank range thing, so they sort of just charge in. I kind of like this one. Um, how are we doing for this? Okay, so the shields thing is fine. Do I want advanced afterburners? Um, what's this? Auxiliary fire control. Chance to hit plus five's hyperlobe detention range. Uh, let's go with afterburners. And cannot manually save this time once auto design is turned on. Why is it? Oh, I did not ask that. Auto upgrade components to be at high level when they are unlocked. Uh, manually design ships whilst auto design. Who's turned auto design on? I fucking didn't. Okay. All right. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. I can now go back into my ship 
and do what I want to it, which is fine, which is exactly the same as probably what they wanted to do to it, but now I can save what I want. I do prefer just doing my ships myself, just so I know what's going on with my world. So, advanced rail cut. Railgun. Do I need an auto cannon? Because yeah, you know what? No, advanced railgun, and we're fine. And you are also going to get advanced afterburners, and the all ship designs that were not automatically generated. Cancel. I want a ship of this design is currently being built. Fine. We will just wait a little bit then. It's okay. Fine. All right, let's get uh, a visitor center down here and let's get a temple and hopefully people will stop being dickheads about it. Oh, it looks like the war is still going, but uh, have they just declared another war? Is, is that what's going on here? The Kundans are just... Oh, I thought they'd had all of this. Oh, you guys actually losing territory to the, the these free traders now. Is that what's going on? Because, oh, the Star Realms of Shamira are getting quite a bit of territory from there. That's a, that's a problem, that is. How is Seer looking with unrest? Oh. Oh, because Governor from Burgundy gets unrest minus 15%. And we gave them a stronghold. Okay, so these guys are going to be unhappy for a little bit. But they're doing all right. I mean, this one can pretty much go into a sector at some point. What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, more. I don't know. Whatever that is. More of that. Uh, this one I'm quite into. Oh, visitor center. Okay, so we want you. You're relatively happy comparatively. We'll put the visitor center here and then... And put you on the temple and everything will be happy. Happy, happy, happy. All right. All my fleets are now at max capacity. I still have... Incoming a hundred fleet capacity to work with. Active sensor leak for active sensor leak for the shab tax. Sure, I actually quite like you. Shab tax are... Shab tax are good people. I mean, they're all right people. They're... Weird. Uh, we received some rather troubling reports regarding deteriorating health of Governor Franz of Burgundy. The haggard appearance makes it look as though they've aged nearly 20 years. Burden of duty can be a heavy thing to bear. Oh, now he's a substance abuser. Great. That's what we always want. Um, I'm debating... Um, well, I'm debating worlds now, because that is... Um, <clears throat> that's a, a pretty good world, and once I get it up to snuff, I can put it straight into Skid Row. I mean, this one is all right. That one's that one's pretty good, and then I can put it into Pob, and and then okay, who are our Savannah people? Because these worlds, I mean, they're all right. They're all right. These are stuff that we couldn't populate before, but I'm not going to populate that one. And I know that populating worlds gets us, you know, less research, etc, etc. I want that Gaia world! <laughs> You're gonna have to go down. I need to get my I need to get my fleet up. That's that's the only thing that matters now. So where was what about you? No, I where you. I want you. Um It's a desert world. Who in our species list is desert preference? The greens. And they are strong, so that's more minerals. Um, who else? The mushrooms are smart. You are also arid. You're uplifted, but you're earthbound. Um, the Kelazan, very strong. And nomadic. Lazovata. No. Um. Where have I got Kelazans? Because they're very strong and I want that because this is a sort of a minerally world. Um. I'm sure I've got them on Ixum. 
No. Where's the other? Timana? I wish yes, yes, I've got one. Okay, so let's get a colony ship. Election camp. They died. Colony ship. And I want the Kelazan. We want more Kelazan in our empire because we've got a nice, like, sort of desert world just over here with lots of minerals on it. Like, lots and lots of minerals. What's this? Tile society output. Ooh! But there's no society output on this tile. Um, that is the wrong place to put that. Titanic life. Oh. Does that mean we can do Titanic beasts? Because, you know, that'd be great. Research. We got Positronic AI, so that's... Okay, so research speed. Now with physics. Gateway travel. Building cost, colony development speed, resource replicate. Monthly minerals plus 40? Yes. I bet we can only build one, but still I'm taking it. I'm actually saving up like another thousand minerals because in fact, can I get droning optimization? I can. I guess I'm doing that then. Droning optimization, which means we get 400 minerals per month. Oh, you you need something upgraded? Why, yes, you can have something Research upgraded. And, oh, what have we got now? Ma Mega cannons. That's an Excel building thing. Um, fleet command limit. Unlocks ship Titan. Oh. Oh, be still my beating heart. Unlock station ion cannon. Oh, yes. Oh, my heart. My heart. Oh, we're now the leader of, of our little coalition. Excellent. Oh, no, they want me to build shit. Uh, it's a good job I've got droning optimizations, but I am building a habitat around Little Shop of Horrors first. It's just what's going to happen. Okay, so we have 10k minerals and we have you. <laughs> Can I get you? Oh no, hang on. I want to build a megastructure. So, build megastructure, habitat. Oh, I need... I just spent that. Influence. Buggeration. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, but it's a good thing to do if you're not, you know, using your influence. If you're in like a, a really relatively stable alliance that takes up half the, uh, the galaxy. Just saying. Just saying. In fact, how much? 12 months until we complete Harmony and then we get into the Shroud. Ooh, in fact, you go here and we improve that temple. Oh, I do like it. I do like it. Oh, you're actually happier. You can go... Uh, you can go here. Or does that make a difference here? Yeah, it makes more of a difference up there. So, okay. We're doing nicely. I like it. Oh, and I do like the fact that people are much happier now. I don't like it when people are unhappy. It makes me feel sad. Oh. You can go here for now, and then we'll build up a mining station there. Mining network, and what can go on here? Have you got a paradise dome? No, let's give you a paradise dome. Everybody has a paradise dome. I think I can take away these things now. So I might want to replace you with a paradise dome as well. Just to keep everybody happy. And you... Do we have a temple on this world? I think we do, actually. Yes, yes, whatever you say, game. Something's gone wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Gene clinic, population growth speed, don't need. Um, what's on this world? Food. Yeah, make it into a plow plant, it'll be fine. Um, sorry, what, what were you telling me about? No. What, you, what was that telling me about? Probably something here to do. It's fine. Oh, you need to get uh, building on a... Uh... No, you don't need a paradise. No one here needs a paradise dome. Actually, that would be a really good thing to put in. So let's build a paradise dome. And you can have um, an energy grid here. 
that's fine. Okay, so I'm waiting now on Titans before I do anything with my army because Titans are um, brutal to your command limit to start with. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. How are you doing? How are we looking at They're Oh! They're now just superior. They're now not, no longer just uh, um, overwhelming. They're now superior. We are fleet power is equivalent. The naval capacity is equivalent. Okay, so we are actually getting to a point where we could start looking to take out. We have the... Oh, we have these ships as well. Oh, technology research, naval capacity. Okay, so claim influence cost... Um, ecological adaptation allows us to terraform energy storage capacity. Uh, what do I want? Resettlement costs. Um, let's get that one going. And now let's finish off Harmony Tree. And this is what we wanted. We wanted. Where is it? No. Mega engineering. Habitats owned by our empire will have an additional three tiles of space. Um, grasp the void. No? Interstellar. Which one is it? My br Transcendence. That's the one. Stand on the threshold of the wakings. True psionic might of our species. Our minds are ready. And we've heard whispers of a psychic realm beyond our own. Transcendence. The Great Awakening. The Audrey species has experienced what can only be described as a great awakening. For a time now, we've been aware of great psionic potential inherent in our species, but such powers have only manifested themselves in a small minority. Until now! Almost overnight, Audrey everywhere have unlocked their full psionic capacity. It's as if some sort of communal pool of Audrey psychic energy finally reached a critical tipping point collectively awakening the latent abilities of our brains. Telepathy has already replaced most verbal communication between Audrey, and this is only one small example of the innumerable changes our society is faced with. We are now tied together in a way very few of us could have ever have imagined. The veil has been lifted. Do I get to go to the shroud? I'm, I'm assuming I will. Oh, we should probably upgrade that. That's fine. Let's just, just... Where are you? The Void Shriekers. Could you all go to, say, here? I don't know why there. In fact, could you actually just go to uh, Portal? Because that seems like a real smart way to do it. And then just merge whilst you're there. Right. So. You're doing well. I... Oh, no. I want to... Oh. Can I build some ships for the unity? Uh, can I assign a leader? Let's recruit a leader. Um, chip hole points. Anything better than that? Weapons rage. Gale speed. Gale speed is lovely. I always like gale speed. But <clears throat> you guys, from wherever you are, Oh, you're only over in uh, Zadron space. That's fine. Um, what I want from you guys is the unity. Um, what do I want? Oh, um, they've got no battleships. So... This fleet is already at full strength, which means... You've got no corvettes. What have you been doing? Where have all your corvettes? Who destroyed your fucking corvettes? Okay, right, portal, portal station. Um, we're doing something fucking stupid that's sh Federation corvettes. Right, let's just keep going until... Right, that's enough for now. Like, 13 corvettes. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. The Shroud. Like a muffled whisper in a dark room, the Shroud calls to us 
from within our minds. It's a primordial realm of pure psychic energy that's come into the beginning at the dawn of time. All creatures that have been gifted with psionic power abilities tap into the shroud in some way to draw power, even only subconsciously. I've never done the shroud before. I'm excited. Since our transcendence, we've begun to see the shroud with greater clarity. There are patterns where once even our strangest tel strongest telepaths could see only f uh, formless mass of swirling energy. There are other things as well. Spirits of a sort that gaze back on us from the other side, sometimes with curiosity, sometimes with kindness, and sometimes with malice. We are in the process of learning the extent of our new powers, but it may be possible for us to commune with these spirits. It will require the combined efforts of our most powerful telepaths. Each you a special project. Situation log updated. Breaching the shroud, Silog. Breach that fucking shroud. Go, go, go. Time is of the essence. And we're going to start with Domination Tree soon. Okay, I've... I... Why... Okay. Could you maybe... Oh, no. They're not here yet, are they? Okay, when, when, when the Unity gets here, fucking eventually... Are you coming? Just very slowly. What is our ship design of the... Uh, ship designer? Um, can I ship design... Oh, no, I can't. Okay, well, apparently I can't, but we can just start building, like, a bunch of ships for them. Bloody Nora. Ooh, I should have a ship ready, shouldn't I? Where is it? Uh, Colony... Where's the colony ship? There it is, colony ship. I want you to go to this planet. Planet Summary, colonize. Um, oh, yes. You guys, could you colonize this planet for me? Where's going to be best? Um, if I put it here, it affects no one. If I put it here, I get exactly the same deal. If I put it here, I get exactly the same deal. Okay, put it here. Uh, name of our colony. Our name of our colony is... Construction complete. Those minerals, though, because minerals. Okay, so who's unemployed? Oh crikey, this place has gone quickly. Okay, you get you get a mining network. Um, upgrade the planetary capital. You get. Uh, do I need food? I do not need food. You That's get a mining okay. network. Actually, you get a mineral processing plant. Yes. Uh, you get a science lab. You get a Batharian power plant. Um, you can probably replace that stronghold with a science lab. You can... What are you good at? You're good at engineering. Um, you get a science lab. And... Oh, who wants something? Do you want something? Research agreement for... Yeah, fine, whatevs. I mean, I don't care. It's fine. Oh, look at our naval capacity. When is the Titan due to come in? When is that Titan due to come in? Like... Oh, like uh, five years or so, probably less. Four years, maybe. Um. Oh, oh! I know what I wanted to do. I remember. Right, you build mega structure, a habitat. Um. Oh, has this changed? Do I have to pick a planet where it goes round? Uh, let's take it. Oh. oh. Oh, two awesome things are happening at once. I can't contain myself. It's so exciting. After days being locked in hypnotic trance. A hypnotic trance, not a hypnotic trance. Our psychics in the conclave of telepaths has finally managed to open a brief gateway into the shroud. Now that we have established an initial psionic link, we will be able to access the shroud through the contacts menu in the future. How we contact all of our psychic abilities. 
<laughs> to make any kind of meaningful forays into this realm and meet the beings who dwell there, we will likely have to make use of special psionic emitters to extend our psychic reach. This will consume a tremendous amount of energy. Time to reach in and see what we find. It's a good job I've got a lot of energy. Stroud is unbelievably strange and unsettling, but also immediately familiar. Anyone with psionic powers have seen this place in their dreams, though they likely did not know of it at the time. We linger now at the precipice of this realm, not far from the empty void, from the in-between that serves as a boundary between here and normal space, or what we would call the real world. To venture deeper into the shroud, we will require great effort on the part of our telepaths, as well as a large amount of energy. We must not dally, even now we are being watched. Okay, so 3,000 energy is peanuts. Um, for reasons we cannot fathom, we've been drawn to the corner of the Sutroud. Why? Okay, so I could get decreased ship up creep, upkeep for low probability of sex, or boon increased unity. Well, I'd obviously go for the unity, so... More unity, please. The powerful energies of the Shroud have flooded into the communal psionic link that is stored between all, shared between all Audrey. We have never felt a greater sense of unity. Monthly unit, 60 months, 30% unity. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, and I wanted to build a mega structure. Let's put it around the gas giant. No, actually, let's get it quite close to space. Let's put it around this planet. Let's put it around Hope's tendrils. Look, that's gonna be our mega structure. Tra la 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 la. Ooh, I haven't seen them do this bit before. Hang on, where is it? Little tiny little robots building our mega structure. How long is that gonna take? That's gonna take a while. That's fine. Um, but yes, we will get a, a new a new basically a free planet where I can decide what goes on it and it's fine. Where are you come on, hurry up. I need you around here because actually you're a reasonable force. You've got Yeah, you're a reasonable force, it's fine. You just don't have any bloody fucking tiny ships. Okay, they're not moving. They've not moved. Okay, all is good in the world and things are peaceful. That is the main thing. Oh, who's died? Tra oh, that's what something I wanted to do. Okay, so... Um... Right, let's have a look. No, I didn't want you. I wanted the planets. I need more... Right, what can I train? Assault armies of snacks. Psionic armies. Lolarem can just do cloacas. Greens and psionic armies of Audrey's. Don't have a huge amount of good armies. Well, hang on. There was someone there that had the Keller's arms are decent for like regular armies uh just assault armies lazovata scanthian yeah it is just the uh the psychic ones so let's where is my oh you're over at dc yeah okay um let's what can I what can I train up here? Just these and they're pretty poor. Okay, well let's get a horror. Horror, your job is to now train up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Audrey armies. Okay. We're doing fine. All right, what we need over here is uh, more defense platforms. Like, as many as we can get. Which is... Uh, build defensive platforms. Oh, right, we just can do the same thing. And yes, because I think things are either going to come out through this wormhole and screw mm -hmm. us over. Or they're going to... These guys are going to try and screw us over. I want these guys dead because of the Gaia world issue. I want to murder them. That is my goal. If I can get titans in my army and increase this further, in fact, I can build more platforms. I can just build them anywhere. But I think this one we started with. So 
Um, you should be upgraded and you can have anchorages as well. And you can have uh, the naval... Oh, we got to wait till those things are built. But we can have a fallback point here as well. So um, you can also be... What's going on? Oh no, I was doing it about mine. You can now upgrade that to a starport. Right, and anything else that could be upgrade... Oh. Um, you can have anchorages and you can be upgraded as well. And Orglion is done, done. Gemma. Gemma, Ginog, Paya, and... Right, so these guys are all being upgraded into star bases. Um, I'm just going to pop down a whole bunch of uh, shipyards and upgrade the shipyards just so we can actually get some anchorages down because really the, the more the merrier, to be honest, at this point. So uh, you can be upgraded. How many do I need? I, I've got like, that should be like three or four that come in and i'll put i'll dot a few more around the empire at like strategic points um because i wouldn't mind this one being upgraded either so yeah oh this is a bit unwieldy now so we're just going to close it until i need it so how is the oh unity is at portal right so you two ships could you maybe merge for me right so the unity is now better and oh you had ships apparently oh no you had 14 out of 44 right you know what upgrade yourselves it's fine i mean what have i got i've got something like nearly 100 strength that's not going to be enough to take out there i need like 200 strength i'm pretty sure research what have we got uh, claim influence costs minus 10. Um, like lead a lifespan. Claim influence costs minus another minus 10. Civic slots. Let's go for regenerative hull tissue because why not? Um, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Oh, colonization in progress, which means. Where are we? This world is being... Those minerals, though, is being colonised. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we're after. And I think we might be able to get some titanic beasts going on through here. Which would be grand. I may have been reading this wrong. And it didn't need that many corvettes. But fuck it, it's now got them. I may need battleships for it, but... Construction fuck complete. who cares. <laughs> Don't care. I don't care. Right, uh, I'll take away the soaring leaf and then merge. Okay, so that's a pretty powerful fleet, which is good, because I'm going to need it when my next, my next time rolls around in 30 years. In 30 years, we want to be ready to take over these guys. That's the goal. That is what I want. Ooh, Star Realms of Chimir and D3 Traders have screwed over the... Oh, <laughs> look at that. How is that war going? Um, How is the war going? Can I see the war? I'd like to see the war because that would be lovely. Because, yeah, shit's going down. I mean, these guys are just like, nope, fuck it. I'm done. It's all right. Is it down here that I can see the wall? Uh, Construction complete. Has Cassus Belly on me? Do you? Oh, we have claims on you, apparently. Or do we have claims on... I don't think we do, you know. Borders open. The Zik Mock Tribunal. Why? Are we no longer a threat? Because I think we probably are. Mutual threats. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, D3 Traders is no longer a valid r rival for our empire. Um, you, however, 
Revoke association invite to federation. Oh. Well, not join a f f federation with the Lazovata. Okay, defense Zikmok has entered into a defensive pack. Oh, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. I mean, I could just start claiming and just sweep up there and clean up all their stuff. Construction complete. Mostly, I want these two. <laughs> these two. These. This. This would be fine. I could complete. sweep up that, and uh, I'd like to draw your attention to um, our naval capacity. I am looking at um, what I was looking at. I was, I was looking at the Barca Defence Force. <laughs> because I was looking at the fleet manager. Now, I don't know how much a, a, tit a titan brings, but I've boosted up the battleship to four, and I want these to be up to 30 in total. And the destroyer's fine, and maybe another two destroyers. And then we've got something like 40 to add. I, I've never had. I've never had one. I've never had a Titan before. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. It should be fun. Oh, Christ. What's happened? Oh, we've colonized. Right. Okay. So. How is Simdor. Sorry. Aluma. Looking. Your ready you just don't like us okay so if we replace that with a fuck it everyone gets a paradise dome that's fine and then if we manage sectors and we want the cloaca prime sector yes manage this sector and we'll put crimdor into a sector that solves half of our problem and then and then close and where is on where is christ almighty our new thing is all the way up here Ooh. oh i think that was a those minerals though look at those minerals though um first things first build visitor center and build a temple um until those are built you can stay there and can i build an assault army no i can't remember how you get titanic beasts i'd really like that i'd really like some titanic beasts oh these free traders have uh <laughs> Have, have have closed communications to us. I wonder why. Has it been possibly ten years uh, since? Oh, what do I want to make it? Uh, buy lab. There you go. Increase, 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 and you get to do buy lab. What's your traits? You are decadent, solitary, nomadic, venerable. Um. We've got a snack here. So that's five with a snack. Well, oh no, it's being built. That's why. Okay, and you can have a engineering lab. All's good. I do like those minerals, though. Oh no, our biologist has, has carked it. Okay. Right, we want a biologist. I mean... Research speed... Survey speed, that's not really helpful. Survey speed, no. Okay. Right. Who's in a ship? You are research speed statecraft. And you are research speed plus five, right? You, yes. And we are going to fleet command limit. G modification points. Um, let's go for fleet command limit because I want to be able to put titan titans into into ships into fleets. Come on, that's eighteen months. Eighteen months and counting. 
we can do that this episode. Oh, I can actually just communicate with the shroud. Can I? Oh. Nothing for us here, so we'll have to return later. Okay, so I guess every so often. Oh. Like now! Communicate with the shroud. Let's reach into the shroud for 3,000 energy. The concept of time, as we know it, is alien to this part of the shroud. What can seem like centuries here may equal mere hours or even minutes in the real world. If one knows where to look, it's even possible to glimpse into the future. Precognition is one of the surest paths to madness for a telepath, so we must use caution. Meditate here for a moment. I guess that's what, 50-50? If successful, well, truly, who knows? As we feared, madness has overtaken our telepaths. All at once, their minds have been open to the inconceivable multitude of options and probabilities that exist in the past and the future. Every single variation and scenario, no matter how colossal or minuscule, the difference between them is endlessly repeated inside their brains. They have been reduced to a state of permanent catatonia. It will be some time before the conclave of telepaths can muster the psionic strength needed to reach into the shroud again. Okay. Oh. Titanic life! Woo! The native life of those minerals, though, is built on epic scale, far larger than anyone previously thought was possible for biological life. The question now in the minds of our researchers is, what is their secret? Can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. Proceed with the study, leave the giants alone. Sure, the research does no harm. Titanic life study. Titanic life. No, Titanic life study. Log updated. Okay. Hopes, tendrils, habitat complete. We have completed the construction of our first habitat and it's finally, finally time to ready a colony vessel and make landfall on a world we have ourselves created. From its mechanised core to its highest mountains, every nut, bolt, creek and cranny is designed to fit our needs perfectly in our new home among the stars. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Hang on. Oh, it's, is it not colonised yet? Is that is that the issue? Where is it? Hope's Tendrils Habitat. Right, so we've got Habitat Terrain. We can... Well, we need to we need to get some Audrey's down from the planet. Uh, would you mind a colony ship of uh, Audrey's, please? We like our Audrey's. Um, this, this one is... Probably. Actually, can I cancel that? Can I make it um, a colony ship of snacks? Please. Because if Hope's Chendral Habitat... Uh, basically, if I fill that up with just minerals or whatever people decide to come into our habitat, um, we, can, we can just, you know build a perfect situation oh, I love archaeologies they're great they're great I do love them oh who wants to talk to us oh we got another tradition bollocks okay I give minerals for a research agreement are they ahead of the Skeksis they're reasonably ahead yeah fine and what have we got oh, we've got domination haven't we demand vassalization and demand tribute I guess we've got two more of those to go oh how long until we get the titans seven months and we get a resource replicator vast amounts of energy we are able to convert light into matter from seeming nothing we don't have a vast hang on are we actually trading money are we trading energy away because we're going to need that from the shroud so uh, contacts 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 so I'd like I'd like the others please. Right, artisan troop, curator order, merchant guild. Uh are we actually wish to end our resource trade deal. Okay. Okay, so that gives us more energy so we can actually use that. The shabtax and the queptiliums. Um yes, shabtax. Where's the, the queptiliums? Um, these guys are actually our friends, I think. Yeah, they like us. I think these guys actually might be our friends too. Okay, either way this goes, that's fine. 
Um, I reckon the shab tacks are gonna nail you. Gonna nail you to the wall. I think I might want to... I might want to claim these worlds. Let's have a look at, uh, Regani. Uh, what have you got down there? Oh, you've got a hallucinogen as well. An asteroid impact with more minerals. It's not bad. Do I want these worlds? That is a 40. Man, they're not really great. Um, where is it? Oh, that tiny one. That Oh, that one's a good one. That one's a good one. And it's got little pets on it. We likes. We likes. I... Might start putting claims down. Um, if I leave enough for drone optimizations. So let's make some claims. I want that one and I want that one. Okay, that's not bad. And how much is this going to cost me? Hmm. I don't particularly care about that world. Um, but that's a good one. And that's a good one. And I'll take that one just to make it a set. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, and that... <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to like me. You just have to accept that I'm better than you. And what have we got in the wet? Resource replicator. Ooh, okay. This could be bad if I research that. I. jump jived okay so i could get this and then just start jumping around the universe but i'm not ready for it i really am not ready for it uh because so far we've had like no war in heaven we've had no khan empire and i think we're just about hitting the point where we can actually get one or i think maybe it's earlier so i don't want to do that one just yet and I know people are going to criticise me for not getting jump drives like immediately. But I'm just going to avoid it. I am just going to avoid it. I am just waiting. One month. One month. One month. Come on. Give me the titan. Give me the titan. Now. 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 Yes. I've got a titan, yes I bloody have. Ha 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 ha. Titan, titan. Okay. What do I want? Um. Let's just get random stuff at the moment because none, nothing there just suits. Right. So, <clears throat> where are my fleeters? Bastard defense fleet. How would you like? A titan. Add ship. Titan, the gold flower class. Uh, you can have one of those. You can have... Ooh. Hang on. 28 to 24. They're only, uh, they're only six. Oh. My, my mistake. They are 50... No, they're 16. Okay. Well, two of those. Another one of those. And like the rest of those. So let's get some more stuff being done. Close that up. And we've got some destroyers and some corvettes. Oh, we haven't got a we haven't got anything done. Oh, colony ships done though. Civilian ships, colony ship. Right, let's take a colony ship over to Hope's tendrils. And can we uh, colonise that with snacks? Uh, well, if we put it here, anything that goes around it, 
we'll get okay and hope's tendrils habitat when it comes out should be somewhere oh sweet Look at them colonising our ship. Look at them colonising our colony. Colonisation in progress, indeed. It's basically like your own little Gaia world, but look at the amount of energy and stuff that it can produce. You can produce, like, specialist things that each produce, like, 12 energy and 12 minerals, and, you know, it's grand. It really is. Oh, more research complete. Okay, the, the, the fast... Gateway travel. Colony development speed. Advanced reactor boosters. Research I'm going to go for gateway travel. Oh, more research complete. What did we get? Flak battery. Okay, so this is just the random shit that I'm building. Minerals plus 5%. Yes. Yes, we're going for that. Oh, this is so cool. How is our wonderful, wondrous, vast defense fleet? Oh, that's going up nicely. That is going to go up so nicely. We're at 106 out of 600. And how much does a Titan cost? Is the next question. So let's look at the fleet manager. How much does that cost? Mm, doesn't say. How much do I need for a Titan? Titan, 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 Titan. Okay, so, can I just, so we've got all the ships apart from the Corvettes, cannot reinforce that fleet, is that, what does that mean? Oh, subject integrate, oh the Zadrons have got the, the Galak, D3 traders and those have got a, a, a thing going on, oh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some more claims. Because of course I am. I wanted... I didn't particularly want this world. I'll take this world. And let's go for... Hand up as well. And... No, let's just leave it at those for the moment. More claims. They, they, they're not really... Uh, bothered by it. well they are quite bothered by us we're not quite bothered by them at this point so everything is coming up millhouse and by millhouse i mean me upgrade 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 everything you are a monster welcome oh you however need your minerals build your minerals mining network and we'll actually swap him out for there because he's good in fact you, you can go there that's fine and then we'll build on this one minerals minerals oh i can't wait for hope's tendrils to be settled and we've got another election and we've got titans in we are badass i've been zombie cleo this has been stellaris we're doing great Class dismissed.